Hey beauties, good afternoon to you. So I realize that, you know, Pastor Keon uh, Henderson has been in the media, not in a wholesome way, let's just put it that way. So I said, let me check out what this controversy is about, you know, because I'm, I'm wondering, I said, what could it be? I didn't want to speculate. I didn't want to think anything specific. So I watched the video clipping of what took place. People. I think we have nothing to do with our time. I could not believe it because when I, I, I listened to a, a, a sort of a credible pastor was give, relaying it. And I said, you know what, Tony? And so that nobody go, says it's only first hand, it's second hand information. You go by, go and look. Now, you know, that when Paul was speaking to the people, he said, let everything be done in decency and in order. And what people don't understand is that a pastor, any leader, has the right to, how do I put it, to correct, to, you know, rebuke. Yes, they do. I'm not, it's, I never said humiliate or embarrass. Sometimes correction may feel humiliating and embarrassing. Sometimes correction and, uh, may seem as though the person is doing something wrong. Now, oftentimes we look on as the outsiders and we don't know. Now, if he's a pastor of the church, he may have had an understanding of who the individual is. You do have some people that they are very... They're like fanatics, but that's not the word I wanted to use. They're very, it's not me melodramatic I want to use. The Bible says the spirit is subjected to the prophet. When people tell you that when the Holy Spirit comes upon them, it's like they're in a trance. That is not true. Even if you're speaking in tongues, you're still aware of life. For example, if a good man should come, you'll be aware that a good man is there holding up the church. God forbid. You're not out of your faculties. You have not lost your senses because the spirit is, Meaning the, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, is subjected to you, the individual, that, is, that the Spirit is working within. So that is one of the, another thing that people have to understand. Now I saw what he said. He went and he said this. He wanted a particular order. And said, he said, it's not a matter that you can't say amen and so on. He said, the only voice is just the voice of God. So the lady was kind of screaming and screaming. And he said, look up, you know, just go. It had to be firm. You know, men talk. That's how men are. You know, they're very, they, sometimes it can be a little bit rough, but that's how they are. You know, so he said, just, him just kind of be firm and shut it down. It's like a father, you know, when they're talking with their children, even sometimes their wives, they deal with it different because of the side of the brain that they use. Their, their masculinity kicks in. You know, so they're not going to speak like us as women, you know, we're saying, oh, hold on, darling, you know, or whatever it is. And uh, when I saw it, it was very quick. He just said, nah, hush, you know, just quickly and firm, crisp, and then he moved on. So in, when everybody talked, I said, oh my God, this man must have been screaming at her and going on in an unseeming way. It was a few, uh, no, I couldn't believe it. We really do have nothing to do. So people are going to say that you wouldn't want him to be a, a pastor. He's spiritually abusing people. And yada, yada, yada. On that few quick few seconds video uh, in terms of when he told her to be quiet. So you're not going to do that. Come here, perfect people. I hope that is how you relate to people. That you lead some of your managers, leaders, and so on. I hope that is how you... So moving forward, that I pray that when, so when you want something to be done in decency and in order... That you don't don't say anything of the sort to others. What kind of a world are we living in? Something is wrong with our emotional intelligence. We're going to just be offended by every and any old thing. So as soon as somebody sneezes, we're going to just be choking on it. So this is how we're going to be watching the pastors. As him say one thing. So him say the word shot. How dare him? What kind of pastor is that? Him say the word shot. You don't see we're being ridiculous. It's like our IQ and our EQ is gone. This has gone beyond when we talk about the spirit of offense. We're being ridiculous. We are being ridiculous. We're being ridiculous. I could not believe it when I saw the video. And it's not as though people's eyes were open. I mean, even if somebody beside her nose, the, 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 whoever was videoing the thing, I, didn't even, I couldn't even see the woman because it was kind of dark. I don't know, it was a night service or he just... And the man just said he wanted a particular time for them to meditate. He didn't want the noise to come up. Because sometimes when you hear people, it can be very distracting, you know. 
when I go into church and I hear people getting into that frenzy and it, it, you, you, you want to focus and it kind, of, it kind of throws you off a little bit and you have to really focus your mind, you know, because you don't want to infringe upon somebody's way of worshiping. He wasn't stopping her way of worship, but at the moment he was just saying that, okay, since the spirit is subjected to the prophet and she's getting more and more because you know how people are, you know, it, the more you talk, the more they get into that frenzy and get louder and louder. And he said, okay, just hush, just quick. You know, who is Ali? Stop. You know, he just wanted people to just focus. Secondly, sometimes we don't know people. We don't know what goes on in these churches. You have some people, I'm not saying her, maybe she's true and sincere, but you have some people who just get into a frenzy and there is nothing behind it. Sometimes in some cases they're mischief makers. I'm not saying that she is. But I'm, why would you get up and say you don't want this man to be up? And one, um, let us say he was even wrong. He was, let us say he's completely wrong. So you want to cut him off as a pastor because of that. He cannot be reprimanded. Nobody can go and say, Pastor, I think you were a little bit out of line. You were wrong there. I think you should apologize. You, nobody can do that. Cut him off. It's spiritual abuse. So if somebody boxes you in the face once, you're going to say they're an abuser. If somebody lies once, automatically going to call them a perpetual liar. You see how we are hypocritical as people? And if they should do something once, they're going to say, look how they're crucifying me on one infraction. We are, we are called as a people. I can understand when the Bible says none is good, no, not one. None is good. I couldn't believe it was something like this. I dear wondering, oh my God, I, res I like that pastor. He seems very genuine. You know, wonder what, what his name could be called upon. Co you know, really pe people understand that the enemy is seeking whom he may devour he's looking for even simple ridiculous things or or small offenses and create a mountain out of it he's at he's attacking pastors every one of them the enemy is looking to devour to kill to steal to destroy to de annihilate to literally obliterate every christian he will go at anything at all cost and you have to be aware and vigilant of that. It just seems as though, you know, you people don't understand the signs of the time. So, the, no, I cannot believe that people are really, really making a big stink of something like this. I said to myself, he must have went on badly with a woman. For it to go viral and, and all of that. We really have no time to waste. We have no time. I mean, I didn't want to say that. We, re, we have a lot of time on our hands, it seems. Let's just say he was even wrong. Good God, a simple pastor. I think you were a little bit too... You made it sound as if he said, Shut up! Shut your mouth! He just a hush and he said, just want the presence of the Lord and whatever. It may be, be, be inappropriate because men, remember, they're not wired as women. So sometimes they may not immediately, when they're just focused, they're... How you call it? Can you say you need when you need lateral or something like that so they just when the man is heavily focused on it they, they don't realize that while a woman might quickly all right let me say it this way so that it doesn't come off negatively there is an enemy who is looking daily hourly minutely secondly millisecond to whom he may devour he's seeking whom he may devour He's making every and anything be an, an offense to a great extent. So when it is um, a molehill, we take it like it's mountainous. So we end up majoring in minor and minoring in major. Secondly, you don't know the situation as it relates to the woman. We don't know. Suppose it's somebody who is mischievous. Suppose maybe he spoke with her before and she didn't. It's only a section that was videoed and sent out. Because you have people who come to church who create mischief and mayhem. And to give a false impression. Additionally, he's imperfect. He will make mistakes. He may say the wrong thing. You too will say the wrong thing. I too will say the wrong thing. We may act harsh. It's just for us to come back. It's just to humble. May look and say, I think I was a bit harsh there. All right, it was not in my intention. My intention was for them to just focus, just quietness, peace, since the spirit is subjected to the prophet. You know, and as a leader, you know, I have that right to give an instruction that you can follow it's not about bro beating it's not about spiritual abuse are we thinking of the words that we're using are we thinking about the words that were spiritual abuse do you see him consistently do that you how do you come to that conclusion on the basis of one situation you have to you 
you people have a lot of time to waste. You know what I wish some of you could do? Buy some food for me. Buy some clothes and shoes for me and give me some money. Since you have a lot of time on your hands, you can do that for me. Please. I'd be so grateful. Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this.